the guy from Social Dilemma, uh, past president of Facebook, Tim Kendall, came on the podcast. And when I was talking to him, it became very evident to me that in his world, or at least in the social media world, the human condition is known. And from an advertising perspective, it's exactly what you're touching on, right? It's like, even if you're on the long tail of being a 30-year-old who uh, maybe is like abstinent, let's call it, like, right? That's the complete, or even a 24-year-old who's waiting until they're 40 to get married, that person doesn't matter in the advertising world. But most 25-year-olds are- What do I do to Bacardi and to, uh, and to like vacation spots sure. and to, you know, BMW and Tesla and so, whatever. So it's about pairing that person with right. the right. That's right. a hundred, that, and that is it. Is. It's yeah. figuring out where you are on that life cycle, understanding what your need state is. I wonder what life cycle I'm at. This is so interesting. But, but then when you look at your peers <laughs> and you actually look, you're like, okay, how old am I? Now you look at your high school buddies, your college buddies, and you sort of know who you gravitate toward. There's like the fuck ups in high school who are like, they're never getting married and they're still living with their parents. Then there's like the nomads in life who are like never settling down and they're going to be like doing random stuff. And there's the workaholics that you know that they're not going to get married until they're like forties. And then there's like the people like you, right? Like you, you be like, and if you look at it, them, you know, there's a few that lag behind in terms of getting married. There's probably a few that got married before you. You probably share kids potentially the same age. And then now you're talking about all the same things, right? Where am I going this summer? You're not going to the place that the retirement guys are going because you can't afford it yet, right? And you're not in your golden years. And by the way, getting two, three kids in a car or on an airplane is torture. So you basically start to create a world based upon level of effort and resources. And you look at your peers and you're talking about all going to all the same places. Your Instagram looks pretty similar in terms of where you're taking it, where your shopping looks pretty similar. You're mashing up those bananas that you're getting from the organic thing or whatever. And it looks pretty similar. And then you're like, okay, what are you consuming? And now you have some choices. We talked about like oat milk versus almond milk versus, and then you're like, okay, who, what's the brand that you want to put in front in those period of choices? And that's when marketing comes in, right? You know, you need something in this space because you're trying to be healthy or whatever, and you never tried something. And then somebody puts this message, you really got to get off dairy, all these reasons why it's not good for you. And then people are like, okay, is this a good time to go into the lactate milk, which is lactose free, so that's better for you? Or do you want to go into the almond wor- milk world? Or is it the oat milk? Or are you going to, I just had pistachio, pistachio milk, milk. Yeah, which is actually super tasty. It's a huge plug for <laughs> pistachio good. milk. But you, you have these decision sets. And so I just had a great experience. I'm probably going to tell people, Jesus, if you're looking for like an, uh, something alternative, this pistachio milk is great. That will get picked up and resonate. And sooner or later, this little pistachio milk company that's like ahead will be like, great, I have a great product. It starts marketing. It wraps a couple of coffee trucks, like what we talked about with Oatly. And instantaneously, it you know grows tenfold, a hundredfold, all partially because they're in the right place, right time, all partially because there's these movements toward health and lifestyle for a certain age group, and partly because they actually get the right marketing message with the right product, right at the right time, and it starts to become sort of this momentum in the market. What's the most important part of what you just said? Like for the company, is it the messaging? Is it? Well, you gotta start with a good product, or yeah, a reasonable yeah. Let's product. Let's take that's baseline. Baseline is they've, they've, they have an incredible product that is getting natural word of mouth. And so it's then people it's are marketing about distribution it. and figuring out what, how much do you put in and how much ROI do you get? Mm-hmm. And so that's really sort of, and then what are your different channels that are actually gonna work? 